morning, everyone. Welcome, all you new folks, and welcome back, everybody. You guys, it was 41 degrees here in Arizona. I've got shoes. Oh yeah, check these. Socks. Gotta check these shoes out, oh, well, man. These are my flu bogs and my crazy socks. Yeah. Not only do I have crazy shoes, I have crazy socks. Yep. And I have my three-quarter length sleeves on because you guys, it was cold. It was 41 degrees. Nobody can, can contest that that's not cold. Yeah, that's cold. <laughs> we have very thin blood here in the desert, so it was cold. It's supposed to be 70 today, which is perfect walking weather. I'm going to take a walk a little bit later. Um, you guys, because it's we're coming to the end of October, just get up and move. But I'm going to kick it in gear for November, and I've got a whole thing that we're going, Harry and I are going to be doing. It may be a little complicated. I'm going to write it down, and I'll share that with everybody tomorrow. I'll share it with everybody tomorrow. But anyway, you guys, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? I want to give a shout out to Shelly, my friend Shelly, who is recuperating from a really major neck surgery. I want to give a shout out to Pam, who broke her wrist the other day. Um, she, they, they both need prayers, healing prayers from everyone. Um, that'd be greatly appreciated. Hope you guys are resting and relaxing and watching the show today. Anyway, you guys, don't forget, Friday at 12.15 a.m., so it'll be Saturday, 12.15 a.m., we're putting up our Halloween little special. We Harry's worked really hard on the special effects, and you guys, it was really fun to do. But if you guys see it and you like it, please remember to share it because we want everybody to see it, okay? Um, and with that, you guys, I want to remind everybody that everything you take the day before, everything that you eat the day before, stress, lack of sleep, uh, over-the-counter medicines, allergy medicine. We're coming into allergy season here in Phoenix. Let me tell you, when those Palo Verde trees start getting the yellow flowers, that's when you're going to hear the cold and sinuses with me. They seeded our, our yard yesterday, our little bit of a lawn that we have, mm -hmm. and um, so we're going to be getting that rye grass in soon. Anyway, you guys, it can have an effect on uh, weight loss stall. It can even have you gain some water weight. Harry's on prednisone and, um, is it amoxicillin or penicillin? penicillin? Penicillin. How many more days? I think you're done with the uh, prednisone. Yeah, I'm done with that. And then you've got a few more. Uh, penicillin? Yeah, do yeah, you? Yeah, i got about... Anyway. Three He's days taking left. that over-the-counter medicine. He's taking Tylenol, but, you know, he's doing a great job. Anyway, you guys, with that, I want to share what we had yesterday that was perfectly keto and delicious as well. So, yesterday, we only fasted for 17 hours because I accidentally, on purpose, tasted our orange cream, ice cream mixture. And Harry reminded me as I put it into my mouth after I did it, that we were mm -hmm. fasting. So I changed it to 17 hours, not 18 hours. But you guys, we had delicious salmon fillets. God, and were these good. were a keeper. Harry's not a fish. He doesn't order fish, but no, he- never. Occasionally likes a piece of salmon. That salmon, easiest, easy peasy, Absolutely delicious. We didn't put anything on it. What? But I do like bacon wrapped shrimp. Right, but that's a crustacean, not fish. But lives in a freaking ocean, right? Yes, it does. Okay. Anyway, you guys, I had two fried eggs and a tablespoon of butter with that salmon fillet. Harry had four eggs and a salmon fillet with a tablespoon of butter. And you guys, salmon and eggs for breakfast is an absolutely delicious meal. It was absolutely heavenly. And that salmon, we needed nothing. The sauce that comes with it, absolutely fabulous. It's, it's kind of a spicy, has a little bit of a chili taste to it. Really, really, really good flavor. Yeah. So if you guys haven't seen that, Harry will uh, add it at the end of this video. You guys can just click on that and go see that tomorrow because it was delicious. Anyway, I cooked chicken uh, quarters. I thought they were thighs. 
Um, I cut the leg off of mine and kept the thigh. Mom had the leg and some string beans. I made uh, bacon string beans yesterday. It was delicious, she said. Uh, Harry had 9.5 ounces of the, he actually had a quarter. It was the chicken thigh and legs, but it was the brown meat. We made the orange cream ice cream, which was absolutely delicious. I added just two squirts of the Mio orange vanilla or vanilla orange flavoring because we wanted more orangey taste. It's a very mild, creamy taste, and we just wanted it just a little, kick it up a notch, and it was delicious, you guys. We had six tablespoons almond uh, pumpkin spice. P.S. stands for pumpkin spice. Khalifa almond coconut milk in our coffee and we had two scoops of collagen so yesterday i had five percent carbs for a total of 16.9 54 percent fat for a total of 78.5 grams i had 41 percent protein so i had high protein yesterday 133.8 grams my total calories were higher 1347 Harry had 3% carbs for a total of 13.5 grams, 63% fat for a total of 112.3 grams. He also had higher protein, 34% for a total of 139 grams, and his total calories were 1,617. We had higher protein because we had fish and eggs and chicken and keto chow, which is a high protein uh, shake mix, uh, protein powdered mix that we use for our ice cream. So we had higher protein yesterday, you guys, but, but we both went down. I went down four tenths of a pound. Harry went down two tenths of a pound. Look, you guys, even on his medicine and everything, but we've noticed yeah. when we eat I'm really kind of amazed fish at the and whole chicken, thing. we eat fish and chicken, we tend to lose weight. Have you yeah. noticed that? Yeah, yeah. So that's well, mostly on the chicken because that's what usually what we have, right? Chicken. And we get more of it. I mean, right. we had a very filling. I was very full yesterday, very very full. So it really worked out really well. So anyway, you guys, just wanted to share that with you, and I'm gonna let Harry share the big board with everybody. Let's do the big board. Where are we today, Harry? Well. The only thing that I can see wrong with this whole mess right now it's not a mess. is that we're doing really good. If you notice on the bottom. Wait a minute, let me come over. If you notice on the bottom, we've been staying, staying, losing, losing. And I think it's because Wendy went to a, she made the sausage herself without buying the, using the bought sausage. Over here we had mostly eggs and, and some more of that sausage again, which made us both go down. And then yesterday, uh, we did really good with that fish. And the homemade chicken thighs. Yeah. Um, and, but the only thing I could see is like right here, our, we're both high, yesterday. high on the protein. protein. And our pro, yours is like what, 120? Uh, you our shouldn't go over 100. Mass. Yeah, our lean body mass. You shouldn't go over 120, and I shouldn't go over what, 130? Three. And yesterday I told everybody right. that we were going to be higher lean body mass. Now, today we're going to pull it back down. Right. and and see if it pushes us you know occasionally you can do it but all the time when we were doing carnivore only yeah. when we first did it we were fine but the more we did it the high the the high protein that was in our systems the then we started actually gaining a little bit of weight and that's what scared me and made me decide to do, the, tried to do the, is that why you tried to do that why you decided to fish when or today yesterday yesterday yeah, I wanted fish and chicken because I'm high. Work. Right. I, I just wanted to see mm -hmm. because fish and chicken, we tend to do good. Like when I have my tuna salad yeah. or my chicken salad, I would lose weight on it. Even right. though I put a ton of mayonnaise in it. Right? Right. So anyway, I've got to figure out our menu today. And then we'll come back in the next segment when I share that with everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. See you when we break our fast. Okay, everybody, I have our menu for today. And today we're going to fast purposefully for 18 hours so we can't break our fast till 11 because we were a little bit later yesterday. We're having eggs and pork belly. I found a couple pieces of that pork belly that I had in the freezer. I'm going to put it in my air fryer. I'm having a three-egg omelet cooked in a tablespoon of butter. I'm putting an ounce of cheddar cheese on it. 
and I'm having a piece of pork belly. Harry's, Harry's having a five egg omelet. Harry? Harry. <laughs> I call you all kinds of names. Oh, yeah. I don't know where that one came yeah. from. Some we can't say. Two ounces of pork belly. <laughs> Two tablespoons of butter with one ounce cheddar cheese on yours. So we're having a, a cheese omelet today. Right. Um, and for dinner, you guys, we're doing chocolate peanut butter ice cream. Three ounces heavy whipping cream, eight ounces of Khalifa coconut almond milk. You guys, I made it with the cream and the almond milk yesterday. It was super smooth and creamy. Oh yeah, it was really good. It was good. really good. We did the orange uh, cream. So we're doing that tonight. Two scoops of collagen, six tablespoons of Khalifa pumpkin spice for both of us. So today I'm doing a 5% carbs for a total of 17.2 grams. 71% fat for a total of 107.1 grams. 24% protein for a total of 82.3 grams. My calories, and you notice our protein's low, lower yeah, I, today. Yeah, I just looked at that. Yep, I told you I would drop it down lower because we had high protein yesterday. 1,363. Harry's having 4% carbs for a total of 16.8 grams. 73% fat for a total of 129.2 grams. His protein is 23% protein for a total of 93.4 grams. 1630 is his calories. So I dropped our protein a little lower. Fats are higher. Just to kind of even out yesterday because yesterday we had a very high protein day yeah. for us. And we do better. Harry and I do best on a high fat, moderate protein diet so that's what i've done and it's going to be super simple but i want to go to the store tonight to get the ingredients for that soup i'm thinking about making tomorrow the one with the sausage and the um, kale and the mushrooms and all that good stuff so i really want to make that and well yeah today's wednesday make, yes yeah today's wednesday so i can go but i need to make some bone broth as well you guys so um, I got to get stuff for my bone broth and I got to get all that done. So Harry's got to get me five tall mayonnaise jars, Harry, for my bone broth. Okay. We'll come back later in the next segment. I am making bone broth and I'm putting in my bones and my good stuff. Yes, into my she pot. saves all the bones, man. I save all the bones, man. I do. These will all fit in there. So... These are, this is going to be beef bone broth. Whoa. So all of our props just fell down. If you guys see the props in the background where they're, we're stacking them up, a whole bunch of little eyeballs. <laughs> <That's tired. laughs> when Sally jumped, man. Little eyeballs came rolling out. Her. Uh, little pe sneaky peek for, for her. Uh, okay. Okay, you guys, I'm going to make bone broth, and I've got, if you look in here, i got a ton of bones. I save all my bones. They've got some pieces of fat on them and some meat on them. And this is going to make delicious beef bone broth. Now, I get dehydrated vegetables. I have, um, it just stays so nice, and they stay shelf safe. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of celery, just a heaping nice tablespoon, because all this is going to be strained but it just gives it nice flavor. This is actually not just carrots. I had some red peppers, um, red sweet peppers that I mixed with it. Again, I'm just gonna put a, a spoonful of that in it because it just gives it nice flavor. You can just chop up some celery, chop up some onions. Look at you guys, this is sliced garlic. Now I don't put a tablespoon of it in. I put about a teaspoon of sliced garlic in there for flavor deliciousness for iodine i use the bragg's organic sea kelp delight seasoning it's more of an italian flavoring it's really good i just sprinkle some in there get a little bit of uh iodine in there and then i take red redmond's real salt this is a new one. Uh, Redmond's Organic Real Salt. And I'm going to put a tablespoon in. We like our broth salty. So yep. I'm just putting a tablespoon in. Oops. More than a tablespoon. Yeah, we have one of those that was open already. That, this one's the one that was open. 
Then I'm gonna go get bottled water. Normally, I like making my bone broth with distilled water. You ask me why distilled water? Because distilled water will leach the minerals out of the bones. That's why you don't wanna drink distilled water plain because it leaches the minerals out of your body. So if you put it in with this, it'll leach it out and pull it out. But you need Bragg's vinegar or raw vinegar. I almost forgot, you guys. I don't have any Bragg's, but I've got Kirkland raw, unfiltered organic apple cider vinegar, including the mother. And I like putting, you can put one to three tablespoons. I'm putting three. And I'll tell you why. The vinegar also pulls the minerals out of the bones. It's healthy, it's good for you, and it tastes good. Doesn't, it doesn't do anything to the flavor, as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, you guys, I am going to go get some bottled water in the back, and I'll be right back in just a minute. Got my water. Pour it in. Whatever goes in. Fill it up to the top. If you fill it up to the where? Max. Oh, the where line. Max to the line. line. This has got a lot of bones in it. A little less than where it says maximum cups. I'll put this on. I'm gonna put this on pressure. And I am gonna put this on uh, slow cook. Oops. And I am gonna cook time adjustment. Eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah, it's 10. Yep, eight hours, because you want it I, my crock pot broke, so this is the um, slow cook, so it's like a crock pot, and it's going to go for eight hours, and it's going to pull all the juices and everything off that bone. It's going to grab the bone marrow. It's going to grab all the bits of meat and fat that are still attached to it. It's going to leach the minerals out, and we're going to have delicious bone broth. So we'll come back when the bone broth is all done so I can make my soup tomorrow that I want. Anyway, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions on that. You don't have to get dried vegetables. It's just great to have them in your pantry, you guys, in case of emergency. It lasts a super long time shelf life. Then I don't have to worry about celery going bad, carrots going bad, or anything like that. And you can um, just use them as you need them. You can also, if you have a dehydrator, dehydrate your own vegetables so you can use them. Or buy frozen ones and just put the frozen amount you want in too. So all three work. Anyway, see everybody in the next segment when we break our fast. It's time for break fast. I've got our pork belly. I bought a big pork belly uh, several months ago and sliced it into thin little pieces. And I've got ours cooking right now in the air fryer with some Byron's butt rub and salt on it. Those are Harry's five eggs. I've got to get me three. Sally is here for the eggs. Okay, we're making omelets. Harry grated the cheese, got a little bit of cheese. So we're having cheese today. Just a so little bit. So that'll have to be added in on the big board tomorrow. Yes, indeed. We're having cheese. Okay, you guys, we'll come back when it's cheese omelets and pork belly for breakfast. Well, I don't know why this pan wants to stick. It's because you used bacon grease in there last time. Did I? Yeah. And it just didn't get washed? No, I didn't want, well, you know, I've noticed that if you use bacon or bacon grease in these pans, I gotta phys physically scrub the you know what out of it. Well, and I'll just put cheese because all Because you can yours. feel it when you're when I'm cleaning the cleaning really? that thing, you can feel the friction of it until you don't feel that anymore, and then you can run your finger along it. And it's super clean, you know? So well, it'll be like super clean. You're just getting a whole bunch of, you're just getting a, That's a fine. cheese I don't care. scramble then with yours. That's I'll fine. get my omelet out. 
There's my omelet. And you're just going to have a delicious egg scramble. That's fine. It tastes the same. It's just sticking. Yeah. I Look just at gotta that. scrub just... it. You've got to scrub the you know what out of it to make it work. Yeah, you guys, don't spray your, if you get brand new uh, non stick pans, don't spray it. It ruins it. It puts a sticky coat on. At least that's what we've found. Yeah, and I can't get rid of it. It's kind of weird. No matter how much I scrub it, it still does the same thing, especially if she uses bacon in there. If she uses bacon in there, I really get rough. Okay. I yeah. scrub it and scrub it and scrub it. Even when I think it's clean totally, I scrub it some more. Look at the pork belly. Ooh, nice. There's your piece. There's your piece. Just a couple of ounces is so delicious. Oh, yeah. For the God, pork it's belly. Good. Mm. So good. Put a little bit of Byron's butt rub on everything, make it taste better. Come on. Some salt. And your egg. Put some pepper on your egg. And there you have it, you guys. Cheesy scrambled eggs, cheese omelet, and pork belly for breakfast. Mmm. Look at that. Oh, I love that. It so good. It's delicious. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Come on, Harry. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. She's Sally, ready. are you waiting for your ice cream? Yeah. Because we're having chocolate peanut butter, I've got some that we, uh, I've been sitting it out. This one's the root beer float, but... It looks like ice cream to me. Yeah, because, you know, she can't have chocolate. Dogs no, can't dogs eat chocolate. No, dogs can't eat chocolate. So, we you made a little bit for the dog, see? Look at this. Made her own little there ice cream. There it is. There it is. Ooh, that looks good, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it look delicious? Anyway, you guys, I think we're going to wrap this up for tonight. I've got, just show it from far away, this is my... Kick it up a notch for November, you guys. I'm going to be bringing this to everybody tomorrow. And we'll post it on our website so everybody can go there and see it if they want to join in. It's going to start November 1st. And I'll go over it and share it with everybody tomorrow. Anyway, you guys, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, Friday, Halloween, 12 15 a.m. is our little Halloween um, episode, would you say, yeah. Mary, that we've done? So, hope you guys join us for Halloween. Anyway, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, let's get this ice cream out of here. Start Ooh, stirring. Look at this. Yeah. Friday, Friday. Mm -mm -mm. You ready? You ready for your ice cream, Sal? Huh, <laughs> Sal, you ready for your ice cream? <laughs>